In this quick video, I would like to show you what are the most benefits of having Simco Editor. Simco Editor is one of the most powerful G-code viewer that allows you to either view the code or apply changes to it very quickly. Whether if you're getting the G-code from a CAM software or if you're doing hand programming, this is a great tool for you. I'm going to open a file very quickly, which is a turning file that, I, that, I, that came from a CAM software. So, as soon as you open the file, you will see that the tool shows you with different color, with different highlight colors, what is a fit rate, fit, fit rate line, what is a rapid line, as well as it shows you on the NC assistance a very easy way that you can apply changes to this line. Everything that is in blue means a comment, and everything that is not comment, rapid or fit line, it will show as a red. Another great benefit of this tool is the fact that you can also apply changes very fast. You can either remove the end block lines, renumber, create new numbers. You can look at statistics such as estimated cycle times. And you can also create your own macros. A macro is a really fast way so you can add more features to your code. As an example, I'm going to create here into my ISO turning because this is a turning file I'm going to add a new macro as a which is gonna print the date and time so just by looking at all these variables you can add them into your macro so I'm going to do date equal add this as a comment and time equal so all these macros, you have a, the, all these macros are available within the software. Of course, you can create yours. So if I go into my eyes of turning, I will see my macro date and time here. So if I go to the top of my, of my file on the header, I can just do add and this will be added. There are some other macros that you can play with, such as rapid movement, for instance. I can add a rapid movement right in here. There are some macros that require you to specify inputs, such as, the, in this case, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, the, the z-coordinate, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the backplot. The backplot is a really nice way so you can see if the G code that you're creating is, look, is looking as supposed to. So as you can see here, this is a turning file that, that came from a CAM software. So thanks, thanks to the backplot, I can see that everything is on the spot. There is another thing that you can also do with the backplot. Let me show you. This is a milling part that came from a CAM software. I can also add the 3D model that was used to program that file. And and here I can also verify if the code is on the spot or if there is something weird outside the area of the toolpath that I'm trying to machine. Another great thing of the Simco editor for those who use machines with more than one channel is the multi-channel viewer. I'm going to open two files here so you can see how this looks like. There are several controllers available on the multi-channel setup such as Fanux, Okumas, and of Mazak and of course you can create your own channel. In this case I'm going to use a Mazak which the M codes the, the, wait, the waiting code start from M900. So just by doing OK I can see here very quickly my two channels G code file. And I, of course, I can also get the statistics of these two programs. Another thing that is really is really useful for those machines that does not support Ethernet connection, you can transmit the file through DNC. In Synco Editor, there is a several there are you have the possibility to customize your port number for DNC transfer. You can either send files to one machine or several machines, or you can receive files from your machines. 
So there are more things that you can also do with Sim Coeditor, such as part comparing is another great tool that I normally use with, with file comparing. So just by hitting this option, you can see that you can see that the software highlights the differences between the two files. So these are one of the most benefits of having Sim Coeditor. I hope you like this video and if there is any questions feel free to get in contact with us. Thank you.